everyone. One of the greatest things at working at Jordan is that we have this incredible library program. You can still come to the winery and purchase some older vintages. But one of the number one questions that we get here is, what corkscrew do I use and how do I open an older bottle of wine? So here on the table, we have a, just your traditional waiter's corkscrew. And John, I like to use that, what, like 10 to 15 year mark wines yeah, yeah. for your when cab? The, when the cork is fresh, that mm -hmm. way you're not gonna break the cork when yes. you're opening it. And then we have the Offso here, which is great for 15 years or older. Um, mm -hmm. They're really affordable. They're great and easy to use. John's actually done another video that you can link to and see how we use that. But we have a new corkscrew um, that we've actually started working with here for some really um, older bottles that you're, you've got a big party and you've been waiting forever to open this up and you don't want the cork to break. Right. Um, you want to keep its integrity. And that's the Durand here. Yeah, it's kind of a cool hybrid between, if you actually look at it, it really is a waiter's corkscrew mixed with an also. Um, so basically it solves the problem that you have with both corkscrews with older wines. The corkscrew will hold the cork in place and the also will extract it. So if some people you can have problems with ossos of jamming the cork into the wine and you're like, oh, oh God, and you've got this really nice bottle of wine with a cork in it. Uh, corkscrew on the other hand, if you're just using the corkscrew, you can break the cork. So this really does solve both problems and yep. it's a uh, it's a great great device. I've actually never used one before. Oh, I have. But I've seen the videos do... and they look amazing. Yes. So we'll demonstrate how we use it. Makes it very easy. So first, we'll take off the foil. So this is a. You say this is a 1976. It is our first vintage of Jordan. All right. Cork looks good on top. So yeah, just separate these two pieces and corkscrew in first, right? Yep. Everyone should be familiar with how this works, right? <laughs> Just try going straight. Yep. And that goes all the way down. All the way down. To the cork. And this is basically like your support. Mm -hmm. Then you put the also in perpendicular to the pieces coming out. Yep. And you would slide yeah, it on really, each side. We'll use it like a regular also at this point. And the nice thing is that corkscrew is going to hold it in place. So yeah, you're not keep actually it from gonna, going down. You're not going to shove it in there. So move your cork. I think that's my biggest issue. That's yeah. Aggressive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it'll look like that when you're done. Mm -hmm. Kind of an X on top. And then. And you just kind of twist it out. You can use both. And you can twist it on either one. Or... Mm -hmm. Kind of come on out. Pull up and twist. There it is, yeah. I mean, normally if we were just using a plain also, you'd be going so slow at this stage, and look how quickly it comes out with the Durand. It's yeah. really a neat opener. Like I can say that was really easy. Yeah. And then so, you yeah. get to enjoy your bottle of aged wine. There you go. That cork looks to be in really good shape. It too. does look like a good cork, actually. Mm -hmm. and there you go. Cheers, Maggie. Oh, yeah, we got Ooh. 76. Wow. <laughs> That's. <laughs> Awesome. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>